Oh, here's the uh, the new refurbished Mac Mini, the much newer one that's that's just been purchased. Uh, being started up after uh, done a lot, done, done, to say done a lot of uh, software uh, work, uh, installations on it to get set up and everything. It's starting up now. It's still starting up anyway. This video will probably be like a nice little tour of it. I'll just you can easily tell for username. I'm going to click on it. Desktop background changes in no time. I think what I'll do now is uh, turn this uh, figure, stop, figure stop filming and then uh, we'll move on to say the next part is a uh, wonderful quality video here. Hmm. Stick around anyway and you'll see, you'll, you'll, you'll love it. And here's the uh, desktop. And it's uh, running the uh, latest versions of Apple's operating system. Yeah, it's running the uh, like version 12.4, a so-called Monterey. And yeah, it is uh, late 2014 there. Well, which uh. Which is particular Mac Mini's cable running, and say the graphics is much more improved. Say one half gigabytes. You know, if I say I installed some applications there, I figure you got VLC Media Player, Firefox, which you need to have, and Microsoft Edge. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, you need antivirus protection for it to work. So that's pretty much like saying necessity right there. And figure this version has other shit like say the ability to access Apple TV Plus on here. <laughs> oh yeah, App Store. And other shit like say Final Cut. Say this one has the latest version of Final Cut Pro, which is good. <laughs> which is probably very good anyway because. This version of that. And that is the icon for say Leaper Office. Okay. System extensions. Oops. Yeah, if there's some games on there anyway. Yeah, because figure you always need to have some version of Solitaire on it. Yeah, LibreOffice is pretty much like, say... A 
a major uh, allows to have complete functionality. Yeah, Final Cut Pro, Firefox. Maybe I should uh, make some changes here. And then we'll move on to uh, elsewhere in the video. We'll move on in the video. Now you can definitely tell that uh, I did say very shit here. Say so I had audio vi audio files for uh, any videos I edit. Yeah, I figure if everything goes as expected, if everything pretty much goes as expected, the Billy A 4K videos will pretty much be here. <laughs> Which would be good because, uh, but uh, all the shit that that's going to be done anyway is not, uh, it's not totally done yet, but it's getting there. So figure systems already configured what 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 I need it for. It's already properly configured, which is good. So that's all configured. I just gotta do is uh get the file just say so get the file cut pro app whatever configured to uh so that uh, when I edit the videos and all that shit, it's all everything will be to say all good to go and shit. And yeah, all good to go. Try to configure it where all the videos that gets added, or I'll be in particular is like one area for 4K videos, one for say 24 frames per second uh, 10 uh, P videos, 30 frames per second videos and that, and 60 frames per second, or even throw it backs if necessary. It's getting there, but I'm thinking what need, what's needed is uh, the ability to say, uh, I'd say, set up a nice area where the, uh, set up a nice area where the, uh, so where all the edited videos can go out once they're edited, and that's all right in the and that's all right in the planning stage. Once that's uh once that's set up and uh, whatever, then I'll be uh then everything will be complete. Other than that, you could definitely say, hmm, you could definitely say for sure. You could just say it's pretty much it for his video. You'll probably love the next one that comes out. I think you say it's pretty much it for now.